February is host to Tinnitus Awareness Week from February the 6th to February the 12th this year. Tinnitus is commonly referred to as ringing in the ears. Tinnitus affects nearly 45 million people in the United States, and of those, 20 million have chronic tinnitus. It is most commonly caused by exposure to loud noise and is one of the most widespread health maladies in the world. Mindy Pollitt of Lake ENT's audiology team sounds off on the facts of the condition. Tinnitus is usually in correlation to nerve damage, so we can't fix the nerve, so we can't make it go away. But there are, are ways to mask it with hearing aids so it's not as dominant for you. You know, those are the types of things. But we need to see, is it from nerve damage or it could be medicine related, that type of thing. So it's an indication to get a hearing test so you can see what's going on. Tinnitus can be described as ringing, roaring, crickets, bees, any types of noises. You'd be surprised how many people describe it different ways. So it can be just any type of noise that you hear in the ears. You can hear it in one ear versus the other, or sometimes it just sounds centrally located like it's just in your head. If you have a sudden impact loss like that, you can have the ringing or the roaring or high-pitched noises, and then as that recovers, it will go away. If it's from you know, true nerve damage, it's pretty much going to be there all the time. Some people just don't notice it as much as others. Tinnitus can develop over time, and not everybody that has nerve damage has tinnitus. It's just, you know, luck of the draw. Some people have it, some people don't. There are three types of hearing loss. There's nerve damage, which is called sensory neural hearing loss, and that's just where the little hair cells in your inner ear or the nerve is damaged. So there's nothing that can be done to fix that. We can aid it with a hearing aid, but we can't fix it. There's conductive hearing loss, which is something medically is going on in the middle ear that's not letting the signal pass through to get to the hearing nerve. So sometimes that can be treated medically, whether it's fluid or infection, or even if the bones of the middle ear are not working, there's surgeries that can be done to fix that. And then the third type is called mixed loss, and it just means that it's a mix of both the nerve damage and the conductive. So there's a component of that loss that might be fixed medically, but you're still gonna have some hearing loss from the nerve damage. Tinnitus currently has no cure, but there are treatments to make the condition more manageable. For more information on this story, as well as links to the audiology specialists at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat, and Facial Plastic Surgery, please click on It Rings a Bell story link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.